beating yourself, and penalties obviously will hurt you. Moro Ojimo, Keandre Colburn in the middle for the Texas defensive line. Demarion Overshone starting at linebacker. Colburn nearly gets the tackle. The rest of the deep zones, a lot of reads, right? Right here, you see Ovi setting the edge. Colburn comes through. You make a running back bubble, you allow your defense to pursue into the ball. His quickness is what stands out the most. Henry bounces it out and wrap him. And, and you have a zone read scheme. Of course, you want to be aggressive, but great, great run. Number one, he, he avoids the tackle, gets you at positive yards. Ford, make that stop. Third and six for Rodgers. Terrell with the sack. In an inside rush. There's a lot of new offensive linemen on this Louisiana Monroe football team. A lot of guys transferred in, transferred out. You see the great hands by Sorrell on the inside move. If you go inside, you have to make sure you went outside. There was an inside pressure. He won inside. But of coordinator for the Warhawks. New coordinators on both sides. Rodgers flushed by Sorrell. Hit hard. Receivers open and stretching. You want to be a playmaker. That's why you transfer in. And there's a hit. Sorrell is still playing with a chip on his shoulder. And here is a little reverse to how the sweep met by Jaron Thompson. Rookie Knight in the backfield with Malik Jackson. Rodgers will pull it to Knight. And that will be good. First down yardage. Slipping a tackle by Keaton Crawford. And he's always open. He finds himself always available. Leading receiver from last year. Beautiful play designed by, Q by Kubik. Going off the zone read action. Second and six. To Henry again. Has somewhere to run. Overshone first contact. And good job to get past Coffee. Henry's 5'10", 198. But he's physical. Look at the vision. He sees the opening. He sees the gap. You can't get upfield as an outside linebacker. And so once Henry sees that, he breaks positively with a rush game. 1.2 per carry on first down. That will not help the cause on second down. Overshield, full steam ahead the last season, and really disappeared after that. A combination of Sorrell and Overshield setting up a third and long go by Opa. But the dear mom out there, happy 90th birthday. ULM back on offense, first down carry for a couple of yards. Bottom plan looks like it's man to man. Showing pressure. Oh, dropping into his own. A lot of pressure coming. Coburn is there. And for the second time, Baron Sorrell start to let it go. He could be the next great one. And that's a beautiful rush. That's a stab to a chop. That stab that Baron Sorrell did, it slowed down the offensive lineman. Offensive lineman hand goes low. He chops it down, gets in on the sack. That's, though he's a younger player, he's counting him out. That's a veteran pass. Two great opportunity for Texas to get off the field. From the 17-yard line, Young swings it out. Gibbs with the first down and more before finds an accurate throwing the ball down the field. Young hit eight different receivers in the first half last week against Utah State. Ninth play of the drive. And Gibbs now around the right side. He stumbles and goes down at the 30. We'll see if they send some extra blitzers here in Young's face. Another third down. Opportunity for Texas to get off the field. Alabama needs seven from the 30. Young with time. Young in trouble and he'll go down. Coverage in the back end. Watches Young is looking into the secondary. He wants to go over to his left, but terrific coverage. He can't anticipate a throw. And as he's trying to come back to his secondary receivers, they're covered up as well. And it finally allows the rush to show up and they get him down to the ground. That's a good stop for Texas there on third down. And to build something here at the University of Texas. First and 10 at the 19. And they hand it off. McClellan. And McClellan! He could go! Burst of speed! Jace McClellan! 
Inside the 20, touchdown, Crimson Tide. How about the right side of this offensive line? Ekior, the tight end, Latu is out there as well. You've got Latham, huge hole, and there McClellan is gone as soon as he got the step. He turned on the Jets, and no one's going to catch him. Excellent job up front by that offensive line. Remember, the biggest mismatch on the field right now for Alabama. He says his inspiration is Christian McCaffrey. Young rolling out. Buying time. Incomplete. Third down and seven at the 40. Burton, who's been quiet. Motions. Ball. Young, flag on the play. Ball start. Ball start. Number 65. Offense. Young. Looking. Young. Scrambling. Young. Throws on the move. And incomplete. He had a man. Was around this wide receiver core, and the questions remain. On first down, they throw it. Gibbs and Gibbs. Bottled up, Gibbs taken down at the... And they bring pressure. Young to the sideline. Nice throw. And it's Gibbs. Frank Harris. Brady in motion. Wide open. Cardenas breaks through the tackle from Ryan Watts. And USA title. A season to go. Not too much room to work. PSA, they don't really get in a huddle. They kind of get on the line. That keeps Texas from substituting players. They have to stay in the same personnel. Empty for Harris. We have yet to see him take off. Feels the pressure. Here he goes. Slips through one tackle. A second in a spin. This is what Frank Harris does extremely well. He leads the team in rushing yards. He's great with his feet. He has great vision. Not the biggest guy over the last two weeks. So far, no sacks, no pressure. And this is four down territory as well. Third and four. Harris to Franklin. Franklin's got the first down. Game. We're just looking at, that was Will Stein, the offensive coordinator, as Harris keeps it. And Harris Number will be zero, dangerously. Harris. Four receiver formation to the right side. Harris feels the pressure. The lefty almost scored it through. Looking to limit this to a field goal. Harris to the right side. Almost dropped. Franklin holds on to it. And Franklin is... If you are the underdog, which by the way, Jeff Trailer says our guys won't even realize we're the underdog. And this is another solid run. All these guys can play. And they all complement each other so well. Sorrell trying to get the edge. Harris taking off. Harris, the first down tripped up. Jalen Ford. Pistol formation. Back to Brady. Slips through a tackle, lowers the shoulder. Short run on first down. To play hard as they get ready for this second half, and he said they do have a few more trick plays in store. Uh oh. Day five of seven on third down in the first half. Harris to throw, or will he? The lefty scrambles, trying to get the corner, extending, and he's got the first. Conference USA preseason player of the year. Sixth year for UTSA. He's got a man downfield underthrown and through the hands of JT. Play that had a penalty earlier. That's the double move. Note number one. Note number two. JT Clark does not drop them often. He had a huge catch in overtime. USA has not allowed a sack in this game. Sorrell off the edge. Did he get a piece? Later, if you're the edge rushers at Texas, you have to say, I need to take over. You know that you believe. There's pressure from the backside. Breaks free on the run. First down. Well, here's a little look, but Moro Ojimo is there. Standing up, Frank Harris. Different look, though. This is 
why you don't run trick plays right here. Because <laughs> now you're second. That's exactly what it is. Brady Goodhull still up. Past the 40. For There's not an uh, unlimited level of tolerance for more of those mistakes. The five interceptions, two of them have been pick sixes in the last couple weeks. Smith rolling out right, throws, and it's caught right about the side. Eight of nine on this opening drive for Donovan Smith. Thompson back in the backfield alongside Smith. On second and goal, fake pitch. Instead, they pitch it going in the other direction. And the cut up field inside the five. Miles Price, their slot receiver, almost like an end around the ball. Did wow, what a game. Thank you, Matt. Oh, so close for those Demon Deacons against Clemson. Yeah, it looked like they had it at one point and then let it get away. Hand off on first down. Trying to eliminate those big negative plays. Second down and 13. Plenty of time this time. Across the middle, and it's a huge penalty. Right side, number 72 there. I'm sorry, left side, 70, west and right. Yeah, yeah. that's a problem. They, they have a little bit more of an issue when you run right at them. Second down, the quick tempo. Smith throws short right. It's incomplete. But the Longhorns have their hands full today. This is a new era of Texas Tech football. After the interception and the return on first down, Tech with the handoff to Sir Roderick Thompson straight ahead. Now the ball, Longhorns arguing. 34-3 the rest of the way. This is a different challenge here on the road in this place with this team that can throw the ball. Very much so. So now third and 11. Play fake. Pressure was picked up. Smith on the move. Looking downfield, Donovan Smith's going to try to run. He just had nowhere to go. He had to sit the first half. Second and 10. Play fake. Smith gets crunched as he throws it, and the ball is knocked away incomplete. On Smith. That front four has dialed it up a little bit more. Here it is once again. They're starting to knock him around a bit. Well, he was, what, 13 for his first 14? Some change things for Texas Tech. Longhorn showing a little pressure here on third down. Just a four-man rush. That throw sails high incomplete. He had Miles... So right near midfield, just shy of it for second and 10. And off, straight ahead, and a missed tackle. Thompson bounces it right side. So Roderick Thompson. Weighs 346. Some big guys. This will be the 55th play from scrimmage for the Red Raiders offense in the game. Texas has run 37 plays. First down, Smith in the pocket. Now moving left, and Smith is going to go. Game back wow. in 1994. Wow. She loves Alfred playing the Red Raiders. <laughs> First down, Texas Tech going backwards, and Smith bounced it. Not a field goal. They need a touchdown to get back in. Thompson, play fake to him. Another one across the middle. This one is complete. Had a little breather there with the replay official taking over. First and 10. Taj Brooks in the backfield. Now Price goes in motion. The give is to Brooks, who bounces off one would-be tackler. Donovan Smith takes that snap. Smith now steps up. Smith is going to lose the ball. It's on the turf now. I think one of his teammates minutes ago, fourth and three. Most coaches would kick it here. Eighth time they've gone for it on fourth down in the game. Smith takes the snap. Smith pressured, backpedaling throws, and it is caught himself and he will fake it and keep it and he might have even lost a half yard three nice protection yeah he's got plenty of time and that pass is overthrown could have been picked well that protection is awesome by the way Sam Jones had a night jam James had a nice catch against Virginia Tech couple weeks ago and just on this actually on a Thursday night but when you watch him settle in that pocket and find his receivers it's because from the Longhorns this year over the middle that pass is incomplete Great defense. Ford, that's a good point with this offensive series Donaldson the setback they are in cover two that's a little softer yeah Daniels spun down behind the sticks again second and 15 Four hurries, a couple of sacks. They close so and quick. Big time. As San 11, there's a reason why they call them bandits. Third down and 12. Daniels 
looking long. It's not to away. Ford Wheaton, the intended. Now West Virginia is up against it. Johnson bouncing it outside. This kid's got some speed. Yes, he does. I mean, this triumvirate. The stats are a blowout as much as the score at this stage. Little looking pattern to Ford Wheaton. And Cover two. This is soft. Daniels lets it fly. It's caught. It's James. It's first down at the 20 of the Longhorn. It's going to get it. Pace and tempo. They're off again. Daniels in some trouble. Oh, He's going to have to take the sack here. Coverage and things of that nature. But it's a nice sack dance. How about this right here? Oops. <laughs> Athleticism. That was like uh -huh. a bad off. They're doing offensively. Yeah. Little inside receiver screen. To for Texas, they've been around the football. Nice. Donaldson's got the first down. He's seen that a lot tonight. Yep. And that's a. Well, he had gotten the first down. First and ten. Mathis. Pass mid. Mathis in motion. And it's the curl, and it's caught at the third. Time bat. Oh. Ball batted into the air. And this, just to get the ball back up with it, but he just wanted to knock it down to the ground so no one picked it off. Yeah, Tavondre Sweat was the guy that got in there, number yep. 93, all 6'4", 200. And the most targeted of the Mountaineers. I watched their alignment. Texas, he lined up in the neutral zone here. They are both on the... Bottom of your screen. Daniels caught, but shy of the first down. Gabriel was injured, was 7 of 16 for only 50 yards in that blowout loss. Eric Gray trying to find some room on the left side as he gets it to the 29-yard line. UCF. I don't know, that wasn't a fumble moments ago with that completion. They go with the jet motion with Stoops. He takes... The little toss forward and has Eric Gray at running back. And he will short pitch to Gray. And tremendous pursuit as James. And Davis Bevel and the offense back out there. Orbit motion from Mims. Marcus Major will get the work. Good run down to the 10 yard line. Third down and two. Bevel pulls. And he's going to be a yard short. Keep an eye on him. Nolan motion to the top of your screen. Deckers, the lefty, sets. Trying to use his legs and he's Pacific. While the colorful Pat McAfee and his crew highlight our ESPN2 telecasts. First and ten for the Cyclones, their second possession of the game. Wow, what an escape job by Deckers to complete the pass and a big time decoys today to open up other guys. We'll get to the rest of them after this play. There's Deckers using his legs again. We've seen that a couple of times already. We're going to hand it off. Silas is going to be a little bit short sitting up. Cyclones moving the football on the ground this time. A gain of three. Hutchinson is matched up against Jordan here. But they look the other way. Pass complete, but it works during the course of a four-hour broadcast. Third and eight. Complete, but short of the first down to Dimitri Stan. When you can, and keep getting the ball to Xavier Hutchinson. Silas and Silas going to pick up and we'll talk about good misses versus bad misses in their tackle second and nine pass complete underneath to no but to weak here we go third and eight Deckers over the middle caught first down out near the 47 and still on its feet is Dimitri Stanley big third and ten comes up with the big route in the conversion they keep it on the ground bring it into the middle field ball came loose he put it on the ground let's see who has it there was a big hit still no 
Third interception thrown by Ewers this season. Sanders to the air on first down, setting up a screen to Dominic Richardson, and he is walloped at the 30-yard line. It's so a loss of three in Oklahoma State's first play. Cowboys are fourth in the country in scoring on the season. Sanders pass behind. The entry in points responsible for. And faced with a must-throw situation here on third and 13. He's in trouble in the backfield. Sanders on the move. A late flag. Sanders has a receiver, though, and he overthrew the intended. Did an outstanding job by Green going up and making the catch. They go fast. Play fake for Sanders looking to run. And he's to the 18-yard line. The medal and go quick. There's another one. Yep. Free play, Sanders, end zone, incomplete, back shoulder throw for true freshman Talon Shetch. Here's another trivia question. Who is the quarterback on the winning team? The hint is he's going to be broadcasting a game on our air later tonight. Here's a throw down field by Sanders, and it's knocked away. <laughs> nice play there by Crawford, knocking that ball away at the last minute. On second down, Richardson, and they really struggle to run the ball. That's one of the things... He'll keep it in the hands of Richardson, and he gets away and then fumbles the ball. It's recovered. He did the same thing against Baylor. You go back to the Baylor game, they're in the red zone, fumble the football. He dives in there, gets on the football, and the muck and the grime, and get on the ground. Big time play there. Richardson again gets the carry, and again, not much. Maybe two. Out of empty, high snap. And Sanders gets it away on the wide receiver screen to Presley, and he does not get the Alan Wallace to name a few, but he really does a great job as a wide receivers coach. On first down, here's Richardson, and he's out to the 42. He gets crunched. Mary, my daughter, well, just shows how good of a young man Brandon Preston really is. Sanders keeps it here, spilled at the 47-yard line. Freshman Johnson. Sanders to throw again. That pass tipped at the line. There is a flag down. There's a flag. There are two fouls on the play, both by the offense. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 95, holding 68. offense number 68. Those fouls offset, replay, first down. See, nice rush, but the mistake there at the end of the play. Gonna run the ball here, Richardson, nice cut in the hole, past the 50, it's Jaden Nixon. A shoe comes flying off. Nixon still going, carrying defenders all the way down near the 10 yard line. On that play. Well, they just needed a running back who could make somebody miss on that inside zone. Inside zone, make a guy miss, make a cut, and you see the speed. Nixon's a track guy. Watch to help spring that pickup. A little behind Presley, but he makes the catch. And taken down to the 35, and he was dropped with a face mask. The number three, they play Kentucky in Knoxville next week. Sanders with a pump fake, steps up and runs. He's at the 35, and... Close to a first down, he should have it, and they're going to... Oh, Mike Gundy was signaling for it. They did not call wow. a timeout. Why? I don't know. Why? They're wasting six seconds. And in trouble to Sanders, and almost intercepted inside the 20 at the 15-yard line. Out of it. Inside 10 seconds to go now. Sanders in trouble. Got to get out of there. Got to get rid of the ball, and it's incomplete with six seconds. Pretty windy down to the field, if you could tell based on Luke's hair. In trouble, Sanders sacked by Jalen Ford back at... It's an emotional game. Played and coached by emotional men. Savion Red needs to check those emotions. Richardson has the 10. And moving the pile. Out to the 14-yard line. 15-point lead at TCU. Blew the lead because they couldn't possess the ball. Couldn't run it. Sanders looking to check it down to Richardson. Finally does, and Richardson pays for it. Overshown. Get the ball some more in this run game. He's in there at running back. Had a 51-yard run in the first half. He's trying to get the edge here, and it's not happening. They finally blow it dead. Sorrell to get up. Also, really tough young man. That snap took a while to get to the quarterback, and that totally disrupted the timing. Nicking consecutive field goals until a miss at the end of the first half. It's good to see Gordon. This is such a big moment. Second half, trying to come back and... He's the most talented of the running backs, that's for certain. That's Presley coming in motion, getting it on the jet sweep. Upended at the 22-yard line by Barron. Three games this year. 
Won the West Virginia game. Pass behind. End up getting get on the football. Try to avoid a three and out again. Five man rush. Pass is caught for a first down to the 45 yard line. It's John on the 36. And it will be Gordon getting the call. Grab from behind, but he breaks the tackle. However, help comes. And down goes Gordon. Stacked to the field. On third and nine, Sanders back to throw. Has time. Now takes off. He's got running room with the first down. Inside the 20, and he gets clocked at the 19 yard line. No flat. A weekend getaway against Oklahoma State last week. That 60 plus yard touchdown run. And here he goes again, crashing through the hole. It's the first run for Adrian Martinez. And he will take that kind of speed. Would Adrian be affected so far so good? And nothing jumpy about sitting in the pocket there. On play action, now he fades back and steps up. And this is what Adrian Martinez can do as he slides. The crowd wants a flag. It was a little on Monday. Martinez, that plus one he provides to this offense gets him here. For Sorrell, if it's Will Howard, you take that approach. If it is Adrian Martinez, I think he's still trying to figure out where the football is. Because to that man in the box, and he's calling it from what he's seeing up there. This is the tight end set up with a hurdle. He's got to get at least the bra. Let's fly through the air. Looks so easy. The launch did. Martinez incomplete. Brooks with. There's the check with me. Yeah, it's fine. A little hesitation. Deuce Vaughn with the resounding deuce behind him. In an afternoon in Evanston. Deuce Vaughn goes sidestep. Little shimmy. Oakley. That's your 80s, 90s reference for you. Got it in early. Adrian Martinez feels the pressure and gets dropped. And for one of the first times tonight, this line, this shield, you felt the pressure just squeeze it, right? Constrict it a little bit. Adrian has nowhere to go with the ball. Cover down to the Longhorns that time. And Adrian takes a sack here and now a third and extra, extra long. And situations, critical, critical time here. Martinez scanning and throwing. It is intercepted by the Longhorns in wide open space. Jalen Ford. Well, this is that in cut they got earlier, right? Wide open on that in cut on the big play. This time, great depth. You see Ford's eyes looking back, and he doesn't take the cheese underneath him, as Pete Kwiatkowski has said too many times. We have not dropped into our zones. Yeah, you don't get to pick, but sometimes it falls there for you. And now Deuce Vaughn gets the Everything was built off of that. Get number 22 going. Here he is, Deuce Vaughn. First carry right up the alley. And he gets hog tied out. Call him the Grizzly Bear, and you're not going to fight him for that food at the bottom of the pile. So Kansas State and Deuce Vaughn. Right to him, Deuce Vaughn. Streaking inside the five with a flag in. It's either first and goal on the couches in Austin and parts surrounding the freshman Giddens on the run and he snicks down. Vaughn is knocked down and just ripped. Third and three becomes third and 13. Martinez gets away from Sorrell. Roaming, firing, incomplete. But on that offensive line, when you get linebackers up in those gaps, you have to get what's called a hard call. You've got to protect from the inside out, Jason. And you can see the eyes there. Safe team getting a little bit healthier, including Martinez. Didn't have time to unload a deep. Now he slings for Knowles. And he lost the football. It's down on the deck, and it looks like it might have been Sinnott. They're going to have to have even more of it. Down 10. Garcia in motion. Martinez steps up. And Martinez shakes another guy. Garcia the block on the edge and a first down. 
Vaughn didn't like door number one. And door number two wasn't appetizing either, but a flag is coming. Two weeks ago, it got taken from them late. Martinez felt the pressure from the weak side. He lost the football. It's down on the ground at the sideline and out of bounds. He wanted it so bad, and Sorrell wanted it so bad, and they want it so bad. They bring five. They get to Martinez. You can see the swat away, and the big man thinks he's got it. Sweat looks at it like a <laughs> like a big bear on honey right here. Like it's mine. It's mine. And then Sorrell, actually, the two of them knock it out of bounds. No blitz. And Duggan has the pocket collapse around him, and he's dropped for a loss. It's Baron Sorrell. Usually how they end up getting home, because they don't have at this point with the recruiting, the guys that can win with speed, but they have the power. And there you see Sorrell, as Chris mentioned, just pushing that offensive tackle right back into the face, Coker, into the quarterback. So Game. Yep. Both Doug and you were under consistent pressure. Here comes Texas with the blitz. Hit as he throws and bounces in the pit tonight. Yeah, you got pressure on the outside by Sorrell, but what you mentioned, the, the blitz from the nickel, Jade Barron, but look right here is where that pressure, where they eventually made the call on the hands of the face by Murphy, just to the left side there. He's trying to fight to get in there. That would have been a big play on second and long with his for TCU. Ball moved to the Longhorns 35. Miller hit backfield and dropped for a loss. Having a big night. Watch how they take a little zone read, take the back, and you got the safety there, 23, that's there for the quarterback. Defensive coordinator so far in these first three possessions. Dug it under pressure again and knocked down. And that's Sorrell, who cannot be blocked at the moment. Uh, he's, he's just too much for this offensive line. Remember, true freshman, young players all across this field, and the veterans are stepping up and emerging. Sorrell, not just the power. It's an offensive lineman's experience. Yeah. Hoppish wants to be the personality of the team. DiMercato in the game for Miller takes the flip and gets back to the 30s. Big time playmaker, Chris. It sure is. That's Miller testing the middle, and he's the kind of receiver that really would be a backfield. Longhorns are showing some pressure, and they bring it. Ball out, batted away very quickly, and it's that man on the edge, Baron Sorrell. Uh, no start. doubt. And they walk up, they're two inside linebackers. Nobody picks him up because of the linebackers walked up. Coker with the call, he came down to help out on the inside, and the guy that's having the big night, nobody picked up. Got it again and immediately swarmed under by a big Mr. Pressure again. Duggan's hammered on the. Gets it out quickly. Long throw to the edge. Jordan Hudson is a freshman brought down by. Duggan. Chased again, and he'll be brought down near the line of scrimmage. 90 degrees, and they're playing up 95, 100 snaps on defense. It's a cool night. Duggan on the edge. Second time tonight, he's made a positive play with his feet. It's a first situation for Texas here in the second half. They come away with a total of three points. A Kendra Miller knocked down, and of course, you get the best. And every time they can run the ball and get ahead of the six, and move the chains for another first down. Texas' a chance of Mountain to come back. Dwindle. Miller again. That time he's smacked it. Sorrell is here. So much he's been in the game, he's been working out. This time he comes back to the inside. That blitz off the edge. He's able to work and use that leverage to the inside against the tackle, Andrew Coker. Multiple touchdowns on the air defensively for Barron. They're going to put Fairchild in motion with two running backs in the backfield. And this time, they will hand it off. Kai Thomas will be the first carry. Multiple touchdowns on the air defensively for Barron. They're going to put Fairchild in motion with two running backs in the backfield. And this time, they will hand it off. Kai Thomas will be the first carry. He brought it back to a one score game. You're a Kansas fan. You're holding out hope. They've had seven plays go for zero or negative yards for their first couple of drives. Daniels on the rollout. Daniels takes a shot as he throws. 
goes nearly intercepted. It was dropped. Now it's first down and 10 from the 25. Yeah, from the 25, as Mike said, both fouls kind of offset yardage. First and 10. Neal on the handoff. Dancing. And picks up a couple before he runs into a host of white jerseys. Second down and six. This time they hand it to Thomas, and he is engulfed in the backfield. A blink. Barron Sorrell has just been playing his tail off. Watch this mesh. This tells me that Jalen Daniels is not 100% because normally that's one he'll pull out. Watch Sorrell come down the line of scrimmage. In all of FBS, it's one of third and eight. Deep drop for Daniels. Let's it fly. Complete. Another first down catch for Quick. Over 100 combined. Neal. Surge past the Tulsi and Fairchild. Play clock winding down on this second and ten. Neal. Neal. Surging forward and upended. Grim, a junior that could be a successful combo moving forward past this season. Daniels escapes. And he will run. Hasn't done this a whole lot today, looking to maybe protect. It's that coverage where those two, two defenders are reading that one offensive player. Daniels, the escapability. And he slides down just in front of the table. 100%, he is hilarious. <laughs> looking for some entertaining plays on the field from him as Baylor runs it into the boundary. They are right now. <laughs> Second and 10. Squirrel Williams in the backfield. Takes the handoff and pits up two on the play. And eight, a trips left formation. They motion out of it. And on the handoff, nowhere to go. Oh. <laughs> First and ten. Empty formation for Blake Shapin. Surveys, scrambles, and saves it with Ooh. a sideline pass. Jones in the backfield behind Shapin. Got a man wide open. Touchdown! Greatest focus and the greatest technique in the biggest moments. They just showed it right there on 46. 16 yard game. Reese into the boundary and a tough Wet and Coburn, those two guys in the middle on the move. They attack the middle and that's going to be enough for a first down. Jones. Second and four, Reese picks up the first down and then some. Some determined running down to the 44. Q. And in this too long from the 44. And nowhere to go that time for Ruth Jones. Third and 13. On the screen. Man, well read. Overshone. Diplomatic then with your offense. You don't always have to be diplomatic. You don't always have to be diplomatic, but right. I think he got the point. Okay. You don't have to be labor. Okay. Shaping on the move. Downfield, the bounce pass incomplete for clean pocket. Caught on the side. Set has shifted from field goal to touchdown. On second down, down the middle, touchdown! There it is! Waylon Jones in the backfield. Off the play fake. He checks it down. The pass caught by Jones. Baldwin, the most dangerous, the middle guy. Quick option, speed option. Jones got the first down. That's a lace run. <laughs> That's a lace run. He got that one. First and 10 from the 45. Chapin on the move. Got a little help. And slides down at the 37 yard. Got to take care of the hair, man. Got to take care of the hair. Second and four, toss into the boundary. Jones tiptoes down the sideline. Second and ten. This is Jones. Man, he put his hat down and went to work. Ben Sims. Out of the backfield, incomplete. At third and three, expect more of the same. Little option, bad toss. Texas recovers the fumble. Oh, it's going to be an incomplete pass. Same thing. The back was just slightly in front of the quarterback, and you see it here. Ooh. It's a matter of, was it forward or was it straight down the line? Let's go to our rules expert, Matt Austin. What do you think about this call? 
At first glance, I thought it was definitely forward. Um, you need to have a shot right down the line to really tell. What the rule is, is where does it leave the quarterback's hand, what yard line is on, and where was it touched by the back? Hmm. Well, here's an angle, Matt. Oh, that looks like a fumble, guys. If he, ah, they could not tell where it was, so it was an incomplete pass. We've got to get to the 35. Shape and backside pressure. Gets away, directing traffic. Passed. Caught by Jones. Third and 13, putting it on your quarterback's shoulders. All kinds of time. Shapin picked off at the 40. And it's coming back the other way. Jalen Ford. Second and 10. They pick up the blitz. But Shapin sacked back at the time. Quentin Moore shifts. That'll be the lone shift to this snap. Penix moves the pocket as he's so good at. Rainbow's one that's too strong. That time trying to find time. Roll sprint out. Move Michael Penix and keep this defensive line off guard. And here he goes again on the move on second and ten. Incomplete. Trying to find Davis. Guys around on their front. Play clock now at ten. Looks like a Jolie Dunn defense out there, Cole. Everybody's standing up. Wild defense. No hands on the ground. They bring four. Penick stays in the pocket and is picked off. Jared. First third down here. Witkowski, defensive coordinator for Texas, does that little radar look. Everybody's standing up. No pressure there, but just some confusion on the back end. I think that route. Play action. Lock picked up. Panics with a laser too strong. So a versatile and veteran offensive line for the Huskies. Incomplete. He's on second and six. Talapapa back in. He's got a stiff arm, a first down, and more. Talapapa to the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies from 42 yards. Unable to overcome it. Talapapa in and running back. Penix wants to throw on first down. And he's able to complete it to Jalen Polk. School. Play clock at five on second and seven. Quick hitter to the outside. And McMillan shook the first, shook the second. Taken down by the third. From third and four to third and 14. Texas brings four. Penix leaves the pocket, still wants to throw, and lobs it deep downfield. Incomplete and no flag. Out of the backfield, Talapapa. And gets taken down in the open field after a gain of only four. Hasn't had too many clean pockets. He's 10 of 20 through the air tonight, and he delivers a bullet. The Taj Davis. Texas brings an extra man. Panics completes it. Adunze takes it for a first down, a pickup of 11. He'll rotate back in one of those safety spots. Penix swings it out. And a crawl forward for a first down by Jalen McMillan. Pressure coming. Panic stands tall, delivers a strike for a first down to Jalen McMillan. For a year, DeBoer came back as a head coach. And he kept that title. They'll run it this time with Richard Newton. And when I see this, McMillan lines up at quarterback to take the Wildcat. And behind the line, Panix with a double pass look, and it's incomplete. Over $60,000 in no time, thanks to the Texas offensive line moms. Here's Penix with the short roll, now looking to go deep, and he will into coverage. It is knocked away at the last second. But the offensive line moms as well. Second and ten. Huskies running it with Talapapa. And he is forced to far what I think given this Washington offensive line the biggest headaches. On second and ten. Talapapa finds a hole, looked like none was there, and he's just. 
Get the snap off with two. Here's Newton again. Picks up one, second and nine coming. 